dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greco's a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want, but don't kill him. That's for me. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Limbaugh. Limbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I... I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. with my car. He's a yeah, little fuck, that's how. 
God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Boy, take it. Little shit's like a bad pen. Vito agreed to work with Lincoln on one condition, that he bring him Michael Greco. When Greco escaped, Vito backed out. There's only one thing a woman loves more than serving an ice-cold Stoltz to her man. And what would that be? I wouldn't get to shoot nobody. Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point take it. Right. Making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him 
the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 35, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding unit investigated. You're gonna have to shake these corn bone redneck motherfuckers. I think I see the suspect. You got real. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! chance Lincoln had of bringing down Sal Marcano ended with the death of Vito Scaletta. You're gonna have to shake these corn bone redneck motherfuckers. Trust the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! This right still got slow the fuck down, you big gorilla! <sighs> you fucking ignoring me? Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. All units, negative visual on suspect. Repeat, visual contact on. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew, shit. <laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more than Edward. You Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, 
Ah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus! He was worried you knew about the casino! And you were gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn this city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal! Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal! Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain! Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks, as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass. You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me.
Huh? Who's over there? Got no business here. Well, shit. Now what? Run! Huh? What? You're trespassing! Uh, oh, oh, oh. 